Well, happy Wednesday morning. I'm here in the library at Christ the King with a lot of books behind me, and that's because we're going to be talking about the Bible. As you know, the Bible is not one book, it's 66 different books. And one of the things that Brian McLaren brings up in his book, We Make the Road by Walking, is why we have so many different books in the Bible. Why do we have, for instance, why do we have four different gospel accounts? Why not just one to tell the story of Jesus? Well, let me share this with you. Here's what he writes. Two eyes are better than one because they make depth perception possible. The same goes with ears. Two ears make it possible to locate the direction of a sound. And we often say that two heads are better than one because we know that insight from multiple perspective adds wisdom. That's one of the reasons, by the way, that I'm trying to build up committees here at Christ the King because when you get a group of people together, they may not always agree, but they're going to have different perspectives and they're going to bring uh, those perspectives to bear. Things you may not have even thought of, uh, they're going to come up with. But anyway, back to this. The same is true with stories. We can best think of the Bible not as one tidy story with many chapters, but as a wild and fascinating library with many stories told from many perspectives. On any given subject, these multiple stories challenge us to see life from a variety of angles, adding depth, a sense of direction, and wisdom. So we're given four Gospels to introduce us to Jesus. We're given dozens of parables to illustrate Jesus' message. We're given two sections, or testaments, in which the story of God unfolds. And right at the beginning, we're given two different creation stories that help us know who we are, where we came from, and why we're here. That's right. That's what the Bible is all about. It's about showing this incredible story, telling the story from many different angles uh, in many different ways. And that's not good or bad. People say, well, what if the, the Gospels don't match up exactly in the details? That's not the main point. The main point is there's a story to be told. And just like when somebody witnesses an accident out on the street, you know that you're going to have three or four different eyewitnesses at different angles. They're going to see different things. That's okay. The event's the same. The event, the event is true. And I believe that's one of the reasons why we can trust the Bible even more, is that all the stories don't match exactly. That shows that they're being sincere. That shows they're, they're telling the story from their own perspective. And that's something we can celebrate because the Bible is a great, great gift. It's a, a gift of 66 books put together uh, in one binding, uh, a collection, a library of books that can tell us all about what God's doing in the world. And most importantly, what he did in Jesus Christ, our Savior, when he came down. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for the Bible. We thank you, Lord, that it shows us your word from many different uh, directions, that it helps us, Lord, to understand different viewpoints, and also, Lord, that it leads to a deeper understanding of what you're doing in this world. We thank you also, Lord, for our Lord Jesus. We thank you that he came down to be with us, to save us, and that we have the Gospels, that account of his many miracles, and his wonderful teachings about compassion, justice, and love. Lord, bless us on this Wednesday. Keep us ever close to your word. Help us to dust off that Bible and take a look inside, see what you have to say to us. Bless us, we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you. Pick up that Bible and do a little reading, and uh, have a great Wednesday.